Hello, hello. Happy Friday. This is Soho California Vintage. If you're new, welcome. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And then that way you have the advantage of when I do my live jewelry auction sales, you can actually bid on items because if you're not subscribed, you won't be able to bid or comment and whatnot. Anyways, I just got this package in actually yesterday and I opened it up. And I was like, I need to do a video on this. So this is going to be a preview, unboxing, pre-sale for Saturday. I'm having a sale tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the 15th, October 15th. And I'm going to do it at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. But I started to kind of like dig in and I go, oh, I need, I need to... Because I was going to show the preview video with everything already out. But I kind of want you guys to see as I'm unboxing. This is a lot I want on eBay. And then after this clip, I might, I'm might i having a couple more packages delivered today depending how late it is. I will do a video on that. If not, then um, this will just be shown for the preview for tomorrow. So let me start taking pieces out. This is a what they call a platinum bond. And I have no idea what that is. I mean, I'm just thinking it's platinum plated. I think um, bond is a fancier word to state. How come this one's not opening? Oh, there it is. There. So it's a little box. No, it's not even a box. It's just like a little insert with kind of looks like a stapler. The top. Okay, this is a hot mess. Mm. Oh, it goes underneath. I see. So these are Peridot crystals. And it has beautiful scroll work inside. It is marked um, STS Carice. So when I looked this up, I, I was finding Sterling and Platinum Bond. But, I don't know. I'll give this at a very fair price. I don't think it's sterling. I think it's just the platinum bond. Um, so, what are you folks up to today? What do you guys have planned for the weekend? Fill me in on the comments. Here we have some beautiful pearls. They have, like, the, um, the luster on them. We have different hues of blues, purples kind of copper tones and then this is very very interesting look at the clasp I love these and this is sterling I like these mammer jammer uh, clasps it's a nice cla classy piece you know so they packed everything separately hopefully nothing's broken and I'm gonna, I know not, the majority of the stuff is sterling and they detailed everything really nice in the item description, but some is just, um, plated. So here we have a mother of pearl flower, probably over onyx and a sterling frame. I'm just testing before I... I am going to do a chemical test after. And FedEx is here, so I might have another package. Okay, so that package is not for me. But I'm still expecting a FedEx package. <laughs> um, so here we have a ring. Let me get everything out. So that way nobody's... Um... Ooh, let's see here. I got some very, very interesting pieces. Very, very cool different stuff. Look at that. Egyptian Revival. Look at that pendant. I did get a couple um, pin pendants with the trombone clasp. Uh, I don't know yet what I'm going to do with those because I do collect pins, brooches, especially old ones. 
and these are supposed to be sterling. Look at that. Look at the trombone. Oh, the guy's back. The delivery guy's back. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Yes, that package he brought is for me, and it's the one I've been waiting. It's the one I've been waiting um, from China, so I'm going to have some more acrylic pen brooches. I'm excited because there's some fun ones in there. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, this is like a floating... Oh, this one's nice. This one's a floating... I don't think it's a real diamond, but I'm... I don't know. So, it, look, at it, it twinkles. That is so cool. Okay, let me get everything out. Or most... Or I'll get this batch out. Bronze, are you trying to get in my video? Okay. So, let me start off with this one. This is a cuff. Oh, my God. This is beautiful. I'm pretty sure this is onyx. This is... This is stone. It's cold. And it's sterling. It's marked 925 China, but it has like a maker's mark right there. Okay. Oh, you guys, this is going to be a long video. I'm going to tell you that much right now. See that? I don't know what that M or E is. We have an amethyst, beautiful amethyst right here. Here's a safety latch. Look at that. Okay, so it's magnetic. I, they, or they put magnets right there to close it. That's cool. Wow. So I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm pretty sure this is sterling. But I will test this for sterling. And man, this is so awesome. I like the stones. Faceted beautiful onyx with amethyst. Here's another stone necklace. I don't know what kind of rock this is, but let me see. Yeah, so this is just plated, but that's fun. Um, here I have a ring. It looks like the foiling is lifting. Huh, is it marked? It is marked 925. What does this say inside? You guys, I'm so excited. Like, I haven't done a video like this in a while, so... I think it says something TS, BTS, STS. It's a little. Oh, and it's missing a stone right there. That's a bummer. Because I do like these rows of like blue sapphires. I'm going to still test it. Here we have a cute moon star ring. And. This is marked. What is it marked? Who makes this? FD925. So this one is marked sterling, but I'm still going to test it. That is so charming. Look at how cute. So there was this bracelet I got recently, and it says, shoot for the... Okay, I'm going to probably mess this up. It says, shoot for the moon, because even though... If, something like, shoot for the moon... And even though if you don't land on the moon, you'll end up in the stars. Something like that. And I was like, oh, I love that. I love that. Oh, this one is nice. Look at this ring. So it is marked. Let me see, does it fit me? <gasps> oh, wow. I wonder if it's real sapphire. This one's, this one's a beaut. She is a beaut. I don't know. I think I might keep that one. I'm not too sure. I can't keep everything. So if somebody is really in love with the piece here, just email me. Let me know. Sometimes I have people who can't make the sale on Saturday. Because I know Saturday's the weekend. You're out um, doing family stuff or friend stuff. So this is from Mexico Silver. I'm still going to test it. And so you're more than willing to um, email me for some pieces. And when you email me, just give me a, t a do a excuse me a screenshot of what you're interested in, um, and or a, a timestamp. Because if it, sometimes when people try to describe it, it's, it's I have a lot of pieces that are very similar, you know. 
But if you don't email me and let me know, then I won't be able to tell. So this is this is from Italy. Um, this is like the floating diamond. Let me see here. Oh, I love this lot. I did pay to win it. This one is gorgeous. This is great for like a graduation gift, a Christmas gift an anniversary gift. I'm giving some people some tips out there. The holidays are around the corner. Here we go. Egyptian Revival. It's a pen pendant. It is Mark 925, so I'm pretty sure this is sterling. It has the trombone clasp, which was mainly implemented in like the 20s, 30s. Let me see. It is. Yeah, so the trombone. It was just one of their inventions that they were trying to um, come off of the C-clasp. C-clasp is like the oldest known clasp in brooches. Look at this. This one, it looks like, um, forgive me if I'm not describing it, but isn't this like a chariot? The horse, Trojan. Oh, no, not necessarily Trojan. It's uh, Egyptian. They had those, too, at that time. Wowzer. Now, this, huh, this has a gold tone. I don't think it's gold. It is marked. What is it marked? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to test it. It could be brass centered and the outside is uh, silver, but I'm going to test those. I keep saying I'm going to test them. I'm going to test them. Now these I don't believe are sterling, but oh wait, they do look sterling on the outside. Wow, look at how beautiful these earrings are. So the back side is sticking and I've seen this made a lot, especially coming out of Mexico. They'll put like a plate in the back, but then the front will be um, sterling. I think the front is sterling. These are beautiful earrings. Look at that. So detailed. So this was a win-win. I was happy. I won the slot. I came in probably the last three seconds to swipe it. Here we go. This is a hook clasp. Look at the design on this. So I'm pretty sure this is sterling. I think these are glass. I'm going to use my Presidium in a little bit. But oh wow. Look at that. And then if you actually I like I think this would be beautiful wearing it like this. It's on the smaller side. Oh, I'm so sad because this would look beautiful with my butterfly winged bracelet. Let me see. Let me measure. This must be like a six and three quarters. Maybe a seven because it's like really, really snug. Uh, no way. Seven and a half. Hmm. Hmm. Seven and a half. So, oh, so then I could, I could close it. It's just gonna be really. Let me see here. Um, it's just hard. Oh, there we go. There we go. Well, well, I got it on, and I have a bigger wrist. However, it's. I need help. Like I would need somebody to push that, but. What a beautiful piece. Wow. Okay. And then let's get out the other stuff. Mm -mm -mm. So we're already at nine. Let me um, take everything out of the bag and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Super excited, super excited. Look at everything that I got out of the little package. So, 
let me move this over and go over everything. So this looks like a faceted citrine stone. And wow, look at that, that's beautiful. That's a nice piece. It's supposed to be set on sterling silver. It's marked in there. Yowza. That's a massive faceted citrine piece. Then, oh my god, I remember when I saw this in the lot. It's a little box. Look at it. It has two little woofs. However, it is alpaca, but it's still cute. I do collect boxes, but if anybody's really interested, I can... Um, sell this to you. If not, it's going to go in my curio. Then, we have this massive wow, what is uh, this? Is this Italy? So it's stamped Italy and this is a thick chain. Like, really, really thick. I don't know what this is. It's a Zodiac. It says... Oh, Cancer. So it's a zodiac sign, Cancer. And on the back, I wouldn't even know where to price this at. I have to look this up. It has all the zodiac signs. Like September, it gives the dates. I'm a Libra. But, you know, it has Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn. This looks like nickel silver to me, or pewter. This is massive though. I'm probably just going to take this off of the chain. It doesn't even match. It's too, the chain is too shiny. So I remember this one. Look at the uh, Egyptian. I'm pretty sure that that's carnelian. And then this is very, very cool. I don't know if this is sterling. So you open it up. It's a little screw to open look at that oh so it is marked 925 inside so I will double check to make sure it's sterling but it's a locket or a box of some keepsake of some sort <sighs> I like this now here we have a buffalo coin five cents 1930 and this will hold um a coin so you could take the coin out you just screw this off i don't think this is sterling i don't even think the buffalo coin is sterling either but that's very cool nice relic this i love okay i know i like everything right in this lot i'm just really excited because there's just unique details they're older, it, you know, some antique pieces, it just translate and it shows us a sneak peek of our history, you know? I just like it. <clears throat> Look at the moonstone. I'm pretty sure this is sterling. It's just extremely tarnished. And it fits on a very, let me see. Let me see if this is Italy. It's not saying nothing. It just says 925. And oh, oh, wow. So wait a minute. The chain isn't, but the pendant might be. I don't know. We'll test it out. It's still a nice piece. Look at that. And older. Okay. So I have this set of earrings. They may be sterling. I'm not sure. But it looks like a bee on a twig with some pearls. Very artisan, so I guess you could wear them like this. That's cool. That definitely would be a conversation piece of these earrings. 
I'll set those right there. I have another set of earrings. It looks like Citrine um, Peridot. They are stamped 925. Kind of look like little snowflakes, but this is great for like, um, tis the season, you know, fall, Thanksgiving, Halloween. It works. I like this little guy right here. He is everything. And this is stuck. So this is an artisan made pen. It looks like the beak is made out of leather. And you could actually, I mean, unless you want to wear a bird upside down, you could put a chain through or through its feet. You know, convert it, I guess. I have these earrings. They're solid. They look like sterling. Yeah, they're, they're sterling down. So let me see if I could see the maker's mark. Hmm. Let's see here. It's kind of hard to see. Let's see, there's a 925 and then, yeah, it's just meshed up. Excuse um, the cuticles on my nails. I haven't had a manicure, so. I am guilty as charged. Look at how cute these eloquent little earrings are. The design. They, they kind of look like Greek keys. And these are adorable. I like that aesthetic. We have a, um, a leaf, 925, it's just a pendant, could be a charm on a, uh, on a bracelet. Oh, which reminds me, I need to show the charm I just picked up yesterday, it's a juicy charm. So I don't know what kind of rock this is has copper tones you know what it kind of reminds me but it's too coppery it reminds me a little bit of obsidian but obsidian has like the gold flecks the flakes in there and i don't think yeah this is not sterling here bronzy watch that for me here's a necklace and look at how cool this des this design is i don't know if it symbolizes anything but it does remind me of celtic yeah, I'm pretty sure it's sterling. And last but not least, I have these Judah pens. These look really, really old. And it's ST925. If anybody knows what this is for, like what it's saying. And then here we have another one where it says... Gert Solid Woman's American Ort 1981-82 Sterling Wow, I don't know what that is uh, Let me try to do a Google search on that real quick And then it looks like There's a little hammer right there A key it says RT I don't know, some type of club or union maybe? Hold on one second. So I couldn't find anything. Some of these pieces I may not be able to sell until I do like a further investigation research. Unless it's like a must have, you know, piece. But, um, I'm gonna test this stuff. What's sterling, what's not. I mean, I know this is not sterling. This is marked alpaca. And then, and then, oh, let me see. Do I have it in here? I got this cool charm by Juicy. Yep, here it is. I just picked this up yesterday. I'm not, I don't want to show everything because I want some of the stuff to be, um, you know, for the show on Saturday. So I got this brand new in the box, um, Juicy Couture charm. 
cherries and they're articulated they feel so nice so somebody could put this on their bracelet or they could wear it as a pendant like it it'll work either way um it's in very very good condition at one time well when it was sold it was 45 dollars. i'll give you a better discount than that obviously but they don't sell these anymore so I don't know. I think I looked at comps and they were selling for that price. So I'll give a few bucks off where the comps are at. But these are fun. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm trying to think here. Let me open up this other box and see if it's anything worth showing in the preview. And then I might step into testing some of this stuff. Oh, I forgot to show this. So this is marked Rishi Alexander, 95 sterling silver, Spiga rope. Huh, this is interesting. So... This is a beautiful chain. <gasps> Look at her. So it's a woman. What is she holding? I don't know, but look at how cool. It looks like she has her, her hand on her mouth, her finger. She might be holding a lamb, a sheep. There's a lot of little detail. Look at the flowers. Oh, that's so cute. I like this. Best. This is one of. This is a. This was a great lot. So when I was when I I locked when I shopped for them, I'm looking at. You know, I saw this. I knew that this opened. I seen these. I knew that they were trombone clasp. I seen the bracelet. And as long as I know, like it at worst case scenario, I could at least get my money back. I shoot for the lot. Okay, so let me open up this other package, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am so excited to show you guys this. I'm not going to take them out of their package. I just want to give you guys a glimpse of a lot of these. I have doubles or triples. Okay, so if somebody is interested, um, I... I intentionally bought double or triple of some of the pieces and like the holidays are around the corner so you could give them out as gifts i'm gonna take them out of the plastic but it's gonna take me forever look at this you know what let me rip them up look at this cat pin it's modern and like i said all these are from china they're not you know but look at the rhinestones on this face <gasps> you guys look at isn't this stinking cool Oh my god, I love this. This could go on a purse, on a hat. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so I have that. I have some strawberries. I have, Look at the elephant. I saw this. Right. You know what? I like this company. There's different um, sellers when you go through China, but they're the ones who have been just on it. Look at the elephant. With the rhinestones oh my god come on come on you can't tell me that that's gorgeous then I couldn't help myself but I got these different color foxes I have blue um, more of like a gold I thought I got purple this is a red one these are super super cool and then Oh my god, I'm so in love. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. You guys, you have no idea. It's been a long week and I'm just so excited. So, look at this cutie patootie with her purse. This is acrylic. I have, well, <gasps> this one's way better in person. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god. Look at it's like a witch. She has like a, a scarf. Look at the little glitter in her hair. The little black cat. She has a wand. Oh my god. Look, it's like a web in the back. 
Oh my god, this is like my new obsession now. I think so. New obsession. I have a um what is this? A kimono? No, this is not a kimono doll. God forgive me. I'm a mess right now. This is a uh Huh. I'll tell you right now. They call them Geisha. Geisha. Or is it Geisha? Geisha? Geisha girl. Geisha girl. Why am I saying kimono? Where does that come from? Look at. Aww. With her flowers. Yes. I love this. Okay. So. I'm going to show a few more. And then, because there's tons, there are tons. Look at this girl with her little bag and their lips. Oh my God, these are so much better in person. Like the pictures, look at, oh, little fashionista. Look at the bunny. Oh. And then, let me see here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I just have, there's, you guys, I, I ordered a lot. So let me show what this is. <clears throat> I did get animals. Look at how cute this little dog is. Oh, my God. He's a little distinguished gentleman. Look at him with the pipe and glasses and a hat. Okay, this is like my new obsession. I will be a return buyer from them. And look at the mouse with the scarf. I love this. Okay, now this I just got because I thought it was just very artisan. She has like jupiter on her head she has holding a moon i think i got two of them in two different colors um i just thought it was cool very cool different artisan here we go geisha girl look at this Ugh, rabbit oh my god look at his little pimp or her little pimp hat <laughs> Okay, sorry if I'm offending anybody. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I love that. And then bronze. I'm trying to do a video, buddy. And then I got another um, Audrey Hepburn. Because I sold the other one really fast. So I have more of these. And then... And then, and then, and then... So jazz. Let me see here. Um, I got some more Carmen Mirandas. And I love Lucy. So I have a bunch of those ready to go. I love this reminds me of I love Lucy. But this is like a 50s kind of like a 50s girl no bronze no nobody carmen miranda reminds me of carmen miranda the fruit salad on the head look at the little doggy oh my goodness i love this this is my new obsession look at that oh i didn't even notice he has little glitter right there in his collar look at that they're made good. So, there's that. And then, I'm going to have to organize that. <clears throat> okay. Um, I have some Christmas trees. Some more cats. I got this um, toucan bird. Okay. This video is going to be long. I got this snazzy fox. Oh, she's cute. 
Look at this little French bulldog with glasses. Aww. And I got some Christmas trees. I got a few of these. Christmas is coming around. Look at the rhinestones. You guys, these are all modern. They're not, you know, old, old. I'm just in love. I'm so in love. I have some more Marilyn Monroe's. Oh, Bronte, don't pull that, baby. Come on. No, no, no. I have this cute fashionista girl with her big glasses. Oh, look at this girl. Mm-hmm. Let's take her out. She has articulated. No, baby. Stop. Here, go mess with this. I got a lot going on with these pins, so I'm not going to show all of them. Look. Oh, with her heart lips. I have moi. I have more Marilyn Monroe's. Oh, this is going to be fabulous. This is going to be a fabulous show, guys. We're going to do it up. And then... Okay, let's see here. What's this? I'm trying to see here. I got some more Frida Kahlo's. Some more doggies. Oh my god, they're just, I'm just too excited. I'm not even organized right now. Okay, I know Molly wanted one of these little girls, so I'm going to put that to the side for her. Um, let me see. So I, I ordered a bunch of these. I have extras. I'm putting one to the side. I know Molly wanted one. I have a Dotson dog. And I have, I don't know what you call her, Queen of Hearts. She kind of reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. You know? And more Frida Kahlo's. Oh, here's my purple fox. You guys, this is a long video. Look at that. I like that one. And then, I got this lovely um, 1920s young lady. Look at her hat. She's holding her umbrella. Oh, my God. And then here's the other planet girl, but she's green. So, folks, I'm going to stop right here. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot, and I still have to test out that sterling. Anyways, I hope to see you tomorrow. Come by. Stop in. We always have a ride over there. And, um, yeah, whether you could stop in, say a quick hi, or just, you know, grab your snacks, your drinks, and we always have fun. I don't know how long I'm going to be on, but... Um, we're going to do it up. All right, guys, if you're new, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Soho, California Vintage, signing off.